The city of Atlanta has more black millionaires than anywhere in the US. And today I'm here to meet some of them to learn exactly how they made their millions. This first guy made millions from YouTube without ever showing his face. Here's how. Yes, sir, that YouTube money hitting different, man. Hey, man, you know how it is, man. You nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, too. I see you got the YouTube Red, too. Hey, man, YouTube Red with the YouTube Gust of Match, man. And that's how we doing it, man. That's how we coming. Hey, so give him a little introduction to yourself and how you got to this point. So my name is David Omari and I do YouTube automation. And basically what that is, is just a passive way of doing YouTube without showing your face. I started YouTube probably like 10 years ago. Um, you know, just fresh out of high school. I literally had a video get 100 views in a month. And I was like, man, for a channel with no followers, no subscribers, right. that's pretty crazy. Like, how am I getting views on something like that? And so I said, let me try it again. Ended up doing another video. That video ended up getting like half a million views in like two weeks made like five thousand dollars and from there i just never stopped uploading man so at this point what's been like the most views you've ever gotten on a channel so the most views probably one of my bigger gaming channels got a billion views and that was like my first like endeavor and jump into youtube automation billion a billion views how much do you generate from a billion views i'm gonna actually show you let me oh, go you got the analytics on your phone yeah let me pull up the dashboard real quick. oh you got the youtube studio loaded up let me click that let me, let me show you that lifetime on this channel real quick man Show it to the camera. So on this channel with a billion views, $969,000. So about a million dollars just on ad revenue, not even including brand deals, sponsors, and you know the extra stuff that come with YouTube. And that's not the only channel you have, right? Nah, I have mad channels. So. How many videos do you think you posted? I want to say anywhere from five to 10,000 videos. Wow. That's yeah. what it takes though. So I'm walking on the street and OG comes up to me, he tells me he got a story. Tell me that story of how you got to where you're at today. Well, I took $300. Within six months, I built a multi-million dollar business in Richmond, Virginia. And what was the business? And the business is construction. I do design and build for the government. I do a lot of top secret stuff. You got over a million dollars in cars? You got a million dollars in cars. <laughs> you got any piece of game for any entrepreneurs that's just getting started? I would tell them like this. If you're going to start a business, keep it to your heart. Don't go out there and let everybody know because you got haters out there. That's the power of Atlanta, man. You walking on the street, you might walk up a black millionaire on the sidewalk, man. It's like, you would never know. You see what I Oh, and by the way, this is Tez. He's become one of the youngest millionaires in Atlanta at just 23 years old. So I had to ask him how he did it. So can you tell me the story of how you actually made your money? I primarily focused on starting with a side hustle because I didn't know what I wanted to start with. So I started selling do-rags. I delivered them locally in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, so then I used that do-rag side hustle. I started my first business called Snack Rag. We scaled that business in our first 15 months. Um, and all of it came from marketing with my daughter. So the one thing that changed my entire life was the one thing that changed my life financially. How much did you bring in from this clothing brand in general? So we've done almost a million dollars just off of the clothing brand as well well um, and we're talking like actual profit I know a lot of people just say like revenue numbers I don't really care about the revenue mm -hmm. what really matters is how much did you actually bring home and I think the smartest thing that I've done with that money is put it into the stock market and into other investments so you've done very well for yourself at a young age what advice do you have for people who are just getting started on their entrepreneurial journey man I would say that you can read all the books in the world but execution is always gonna take you the farthest. Start with something small, you know what I mean? It's like, you don't wanna have to go about life living under somebody else's like expectations of how you should go about business. So do what you wanna do. All right, so we pulling up to my guy, Benny, right now. He's a big real estate investor in Atlanta, Georgia. Ted's always dripped up, man. I'm trying to get like the biggest nice you like, bro. Benny, nice yeah. to meet you for Yeah, we buy properties, buildings, and um, you know, renovate them, add value. And uh, you know we hold them. You know that's the, that's what we do. How many years you been doing that? Five years. Mm -hmm. I really just got into buying buildings like a year and a half ago. You didn't say houses. You said buildings. Yes. So how many units you got right now? Uh, 214 units. That's and I'm crazy. about to buy another 60 soon. <laughs> so that's great. Boring. Yes. I think we should go check one of them out. Yeah, I got one I can show you. Well, welcome to Monopoly, well, for real. Welcome, welcome to Full South Apartments. Uh, so we still gotta do our landscaping. We gotta do a lot of work here, bro. So it's still ugly. Yeah, man. We take buildings from like Class C to get it close to like class B. I bought this three months ago. How much? For $6.4 million. What was your first real estate deal? Cause this is a pretty big one. You didn't yeah. start like this. I did not start like this. So my first real estate deal was a wholesale deal. In 2018, I made $50,000. Did you ever like yeah. go to school? You ever studied? Well, I didn't study like I YouTube university and then mentor, I paid a mentor at some point like $4,500 mm -hmm. to like hold my hand through a few deals. But my first deal was just like three months of hard work. Finally find a good deal sold it to an investor for an extra 50k 
I made fifty thousand dollars and never looked back. Man. Yeah. A lot of people don't know this about real estate, but you said you paid what you paid for this building, but you didn't come out of pocket. Yeah. No, I did not. You know, kind of like when they say your net worth is your net worth, yeah. it's real because me. Uh, over the last five years, as I'm in real estate, I also connected with a lot of people, not only in real estate, but in various industries. I raised the, the, the down payment that I need. In this case, I needed $2 million to put down. So I raised the down payment and I paid back my investor the down payment plus the interest in two years. And that's how I buy them out the deal and I keep the deal for myself. Yeah. It's a solid strategy. You just have yes. to find the deal and find the deal that can fund it. What's the most you made in a month? The most I made in one month was a million dollars. Wow. Not just for rental income from like, all real estate operation. Let's see who we meet up with next. All right, bro, so this next guy yeah. is the most known person in Atlanta when it comes to entrepreneurship, bro. Craziest crib, craziest car collection. You gotta go check it out, bro. Hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button too because we are this close to a million subscribers and I'm sharing some of the most interesting stories on the planet. And the best part is all of these people have come from completely different backgrounds. So it goes to show that no matter where you come from, you can do this too. So if that's your goal, hit that subscribe button. Let's go see what he's got going on. Got the cars out front. Yes, sir. What's going on, boss? Nice to meet you, bro. Man, nice to finally meet you. Nice to finally meet you. It's a beautiful house you got here, man. Tell the people a little bit about what you do and a little introduction to yourself. My name is Marcus Borning, also known as Him 500, and I've been an entrepreneur for since I was 18. Got my real estate license at 18, mastered a lot of different industries, on Boost Mobile stores. You name it, just a serial entrepreneur that has mastered bootstrapping from leveraging capital from the bank, turning credit to cash and starting multiple businesses. Well, thanks for having us at your curve today, man. This is probably one of the baddest curves in Atlanta. How much does this one run you? It's definitely one of the best in Atlanta. Um, they coming though, it's a lot up and coming homes. Uh, this one was five million. And you got the cars on deck. Can you talk to me a little bit about your cars and kind of how much this whole collection is worth? Um, the total collection, I don't even know, honestly, bro. <laughs> like, because everything came from like different moments. Yeah. Like, this was my, this was a gift um, for my wife on our wedding day. This was a present for my 30th birthday. Uh -huh. um, I bought that when I had my first million dollar day. You said a million in a day. A million in a day. That was my gift for myself for making a million in a day. How did that feel? S surreal. Surreal. I didn't know if it, I didn't know it was possible. I remember just hoping to make a hundred thousand dollars in a year. And you know, I just started mastering different business systems, marketing, advertisement. When you create a business system and the infrastructure, you realize that it's a numbers game. Mm -hmm. And it's just input and I'm, I figured out a formula, the numbers hit and everything came out. And you know, that's one that always remind me of that. Most definitely. You yeah. got the, you got the uh, recession proof smart car right here? Yeah. So, the smart car is probably the most significant to anything that's here. This is what kind of founded the blueprint to my online footprint. So I always keep a smart car yeah. just because I don't ever want to forget. And I drive it around town for marketing. I was going to say, you be driving it? Yeah, yeah, I drive around <laughs> town for marketing. So, Whenever somebody see me, they're going to see me in that or they see my blue cars because of the staples. It's part of the brand. It's part of the brand. Man, so living in a house like this must feel nice, but what was the house like that you grew up in? I come from a place called Stockton, California, and it's a project that we grew, my family was raised in called Conway Home. About 450 square feet, no carpet, single story. So I want to know a little bit more about how you went from that to getting to this point. So maybe you show me around a little bit and we can talk about it. Back in Christian, New York. The can you talk a little bit more about that journey to making your first million and tell me about when that happened? The journey of the first million? Man, I wish it was a, a smooth journey. I made a mistake, ended up getting arrested, 23, dealt with that for two years, and then realizing, okay, my life isn't over. I made a mistake, but I can actually fix it, correct it, and still go out and start my businesses. And then looking at credit, how credit helps you, the benefits of credit, how to actually benefit from it after that, you know, the rest is history. I figured it out for myself. So you're um, telling me it took 12 years from the time that you started entrepreneurship to you actually made your first million. You know, people see people making their first million in a year on Instagram, or whatever it is, but yep. it's a real journey to get here, man. You gotta keep grinding, but your work ethic and what's in you is gonna determine everything else and the education. Once you learn, it's over. 
What has been the most you brought in in a month? The most I brought in in a month? I did five million in a day before. In a day? Five million in a day. How'd you do that? It was from an event. So I did a conference and at my conference, vendors had to pay to come and you know sell in the marketplace and things like that. And what I did was since I curated the event, I told everybody anything that you sell, I get 50%. Throughout the whole event that weekend, we ended up doing over 10 million. My 50% was 5 million. So at this point, bro, you live in the dream life. I mean, you got the house, you got a silly watch on today. What you rocking? Uh, today I got on the Audemars Piguet. That's Flooded. the glacier. Yeah, that's the glacier. <laughs> what would you say to somebody that's at that stage you were at 23? What would you say to somebody that's at that point where they feel like life's not going for them and they're trying to make it out of that? Stay the course of who you are. Stay fly. I tell people that you have to live where you want to go. You have to live in your, in your future, don't live in your present. And so always carry that on yourself because mm. you won't be able to fit in to where you wanna go. All the work you're doing, but you don't fit in the rooms that you actually working to get in because you thinking that you can't be who you really wanna be. Be fly, it's okay. <laughs> don't think that lifestyle marketing is fake. This is, I'm marketing the lifestyle that I really live. Yeah. I got a pink slip to every car that's here. I really live this life. And the, the cool part about it is, is that my apartment was fly. I made sure it was best. I didn't live out of tubs. I made sure I got a dresser. It was never a uh, live below my means. It was always live to make me feel good and look good of, of to, for my self-esteem. I presented that to the world and my dreams then far succeeded what I ever planned on and I'm still that dude. That's why I'm him, yeah. not them. Embody the person that you want to become and one day, you might just be living like him, man. And yo, shout out to my boy Jordan, man. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube, tap in. Listen, he is the first and probably the only person to ever come to my home and have an intimate conversation like this with me. And so look, subscribe to him, man. Salute. Keep yeah. working. Let's go. We this close to a million, y'all. Let's get it. See you in the next one. Peace. All these diamonds in my chains got me dancing around this bitch. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Go spit some. Yeah, I'm a spit song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stick to YouTube, big dog. <laughs>